All right, guys, last thing about this pump assembly you need to know is they want you to tighten it down, torque it in a cross pattern like a star. So you kind of do it like you're doing a tire or something. Go back here, cross, cross, directly across from each other, long ways. You see the pattern? Start here, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, no, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and they want you to tighten that down. To 220 inch pounds on your uh, torque wrench and I'll never leave a torque wrench with uh, torque on it always loosen it up but when you set it set it to wherever you got to be 220 inch pounds and tighten this thing down and 220 converts to 18.3 so I would say put it between 18 and 19 foot pounds and turn it till it clicks but you know run them down finger tight first then snug them snug them snug them snug them then torque 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 make sure you do it um, consistently and even evenly because you don't want to tighten one side down all the way and one side be loose uh, we got to put this gasket in when we get ready to install it and we got to put these seals in, but they say you can leave these old seals as long as they're not damaged. You can leave these old seals. That way you ain't got to buy the tool. These you got to replace too. But um, I'm thinking these are a little bit hard. But they say these things last for years. So I got some on order, I think, for the shaft, but not for the statter stator put that in the comments how do you how do you pronounce that is that a stator or a stator how do you guys say it uh down south ways we go stator i say stator i don't know you might say stator but uh, put that in comments below and if you guys know any tricks on torque wrenches uh i definitely do advise you not to uh over torque that Find threads on those bolts and no there is no washers or rubber o-rings below each bolt head so the pump was difficulty level I'm gonna say 1 to 10 that being difficult the snap rings were a pain in the butt uh, getting the springs in was a super pain in the butt until I figured out the T-bar. On a difficulty level, I would say putting that pump together, 10 being most difficult, I'm going to give that thing a straight up 8 because it's meticulous. It took, I'm going to say, <clears throat> I woke up at, uh, I got out here at 8 a.m. and I started working on that pump. It's now about 4 o'clock in the evening. I'm getting done. So I've been going through this thing very meticulously, very carefully. Making sure I got everything right. So it took me about 8 hours to do that pump because I want to get it completely right. So if you guys want to do it, go for it. Um, you got any questions or comments, do it below. If you can, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm always doing some uh, something. It may not be a transmission. It may be something else. But like, comment, and subscribe below. Sure do appreciate it. Could use your help a lot. If I helped anybody, appreciate it in the comments also. Thanks, guys, for watching. Y'all have a good day. Peace.